Yeah, everybody, good, um, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to the, um, welcome to the recap, <laughs> recap live. I didn't expect, I didn't expect a whole thousand people like last night, but, um, most likely all the people that want to come back and say thanks and thing and just kind of feedback and vibe, um, those are the people that I would want on this, on, on this chat. So, Jared, as usual, your first, Rihanna, um, Emily, Alyssa, Crystal, Romario. Yeah, everybody, afternoon, afternoon, afternoon. Sanisha, Sherry, Sherry's at day one. Crystal, thanks. Thanks for the help, I really appreciate it. Thanks for your help, like the stream. Yeah, look at hit hit us all like here and thing. Um <laughs> Yeah. I'll take a L, I'll take a L. Alright. Um I have to I have to admit I will take the L because I I had too much faith in TXC. Like um I don't know why I had too much faith in TXC for. But I don't know why. I don't know. You teach me more than my teacher teach you at school. At school, the meme is accurate. Yeah, the meme is so accurate. So I can't thank you enough. Yeah, take the L. Take the L. Yeah, I'll take the L. That, that, this is me right now. This is me. I'll take. I'll take a L. I I set all up to prepare to run a marathon, and all you get to run a sixty meter. 60 meter dash with a 50 meter head start, but that's that's how sad it was. Based on all it tell me, I'm based on the feedback there again. Based on the feedback there again. So <laughs> I take any L, I take any L, don't worry, I take any L. But for those of you all that are um, that that grateful for the for the help, for the explanations and them kind of things so that you learn more and because of the explanations, the paper was super, super easy because if it didn't have the explanations, you might have made some mistakes. So, I am I'm glad for that. I'm glad for that. The only thing hard was my questions here. Yeah, that's, that's cool. <laughs> I, I ain't vexed at all. Yeah, at all. It's better to be over-prepared than under-prepared, right? So, at least now if you're going and do IT and come sign Form 6, you have a little good foundation uh, as to what to expect or... um you'll be able to run into Form 6 a little better because you know a lot more than you should. So, yeah, I, I take my L, I take my L. Um, you're kind of scared about how to go down market, yeah. All right, so let me go into what I do today, right? So three things I want to do. One is I want to just go over some of the basic things in the exam. Um, based on the feedback that I got, I was getting some... Um, I was getting some feedback about a particular question with respect to Wi-Fi. Only like the video too, right? Um, those of y'all that came in, just like the video too. Um, if they'd use my IT power, we would die. Well, I was I was purposefully giving all of the hardest that the hard, just to make sure that if they do decide that they were going to give you a hard paper, I would have wanted to be prepared. But if they decide to give you an easy paper, then you would be like, how are you feeling right now? You'd be like, well, yeah, it was really easy because you're prepared for the worst. You're prepared for the worst. So, it's cool. I am. I ain't vexed at all, yeah. So, wait, wait. Um, thanks for the videos. So, thanks really much. You make it simple. Hopefully, we could share a biscuit one day. Haha, <laughs> biscuit cake one day. <laughs> yeah, so, thank you for your guidance. You really help us out by um, telling us no repeats were coming. Well, I ain't telling no repeats were coming. I said, I think. I think it will be like... It would uh it would not make sense for them to have repeats. So that is my big problem with CXE right now. They um all the, all these papers just have a whole set of repeats in it and it just kinda setting up students a lot into thinking that they know stuff, but really and truly all they did was learn off an exam. So I kinda concerned about that, but I know um we really can't do anything much about that right now. Hopefully, the ministries of education will start to realize and, and try to pull CXE up or some kind of thing, boy, because all them repeated questions not really helping anybody. I prepare for a hurricane, but CXE give you a little bit of rain, yeah. Um, 
but you're welcome for all of you all, for those of you all that are saying thanks right so let me let me go through one time all right so let's tell me about this wi-fi question i'll go and try and reconstruct it right so i'm going to try to reconstruct the wi-fi question so basically you're telling me they had the wi-fi symbol right so they had the wi-fi symbol that was like um this let me see so they had the wi-fi symbol like this right some zoo right so they had the wi-fi symbol and what was the question so it was a picture of the wi-fi symbol and what they asked was what What did they ask? They just asked, so it was like question, I don't know, 40. What is this symbol? That's what they do. So, so basically, this is what they do. What is this symbol? And they put that there. And then they give you a hotspot Wi-Fi LAN and some. So A was hotspot. B was Wi-Fi. C was LAN. And what's the fourth one? D was some, you see. Some like S U M. Oh, Bluetooth. Okay. Right. So so far, based on the feedback again from from students, this is what they this is what y'all said you saw in the paper, and this was one of the questions that people were kind of like unsure about if to choose hotspot or Wi-Fi. Um. And they didn't give no context at all. They didn't have any writing here at all saying that, you know, Mary was by a coffee shop or um, she saw this or some kind of thing like that. Or John was in the airport and was wondering if he could do no, no context, right? No context at all. The answer me now. Nobody asks anything. For those of you all that just joined the um the the live, click um like. Thanks. Close the chat and click like. Yeah. I asking a question. Did they did they give any context? No, they didn't give any context. All right. So, once you see this symbol here, that could only be Wi-Fi symbol. I doubt that. If if there was a context, then. Then they could have said, well, Jane saw this symbol at the airport, therefore she was able to connect, get to the internet. What, what was she by? Then, only, and only then, it would be named Hotspot. But other than that, that symbol is just a symbol for Wi-Fi. It had no, had no mix up about that. I ain't too sure, like, I ain't too sure for those of you all that thought about Hotspot, you probably was overthinking it. I ain't really, I ain't really see a problem there. Whatever number it is. Alright, so what was the next one that was given problems? Some people told me some question about um 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 what is called this thing the something about cereal or something like that. That's now Mikkel James, guys, about the question about the intranet, extranet, and such. Ask about this. What, what, what question is that? Oh, gosh. Oh, God. This chat going so fast, boy. That's now. Let me see if I can slow down the chat. Only take it easy. Take it easy. Ease me up. Ease me up. Alright, so let me hear about the LAN on one question. Let me hear about the LAN on one question. So give me information about that. 
gave me information about the land and one question. What was the land and one question about? Somebody type it out neat for me now. So I could know it is. Somebody tell me what the land and one question was. Okay. A company offers internet access to suppliers. What is this network? Oh, okay. Right, so they have intranet access, right? So basically they have a, a network that's set up and the network is internal. So all the, all the computers inside the building could connect there. So this is an intranet. And then they say they give access to suppliers so now the supplier could come from outside, punch a little hole in the wall and get into one of the computers. And this is the supplier. Right, so that makes it into a extranet now. Because it's an intranet with external access. So that's the that's the that was the um, land question I was asking about. Right? So that would make it a extranet. Yeah, companies, vendors and customers here. Yeah. Alright, a school wants to set up a network allowing teachers and administrative people to access a student database in school. What kind of network should they use? Um, what were the choices? LAN, wireless LAN, one and man. If the school wants to set up an administrative network, they would, not, they would need to set up a LAN because they need access to that database, so the database will be like on the, on the network and they will have like computers that are able to connect it. You can't say wireless LAN because this server, you don't really get a server that's wireless now. So if you're trying to connect to a, if you're trying to connect to a server, the server should be um, a LAN. It will be on a LAN. Wireless LAN will be more if you only use mobile devices and them kind of thing now. Right? Yeah. If you get it correct, you could you could put a kick. Alright, give me our next question. It out that that you all had a little issue. Or you wasn't too sure about. Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. The modem question. Alright, somebody tell me what the modem question is. So it had a question in which which is not operating software or something like that. Um, I think I remember somebody sh showed me that one. I think Inter Internet Explorer was the one. For the one that says no, not operating system because they had, um, they had DOS and Windows and something else. And then they had Internet Explorer, right? Right. All of these are operating systems, meaning that they could run a whole computer. Internet Explorer is an application you have to install. So, Internet Explorer would be the, um, the one. Um, oh gosh, I lost the, I lost the chat. Alright, so I see your same body cloud storage one. Okay, let me see. Analog to digital was the best option for modem. Okay, now, which of the following is not a cloud storage? Gmail, Google Drive, Mac OS, and Dropbox? Well, Mac OS. Yeah, Mac OS wouldn't be a cloud storage option. Mac OS is our operating system. All the others, Dropbox and those things, those are cloud storage. Um, which of the following is not a variable? That's a repeat question. The any any variable that starts with a number is not a variable. Do, 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 do. Don't tell them. Hyperlink one with the email link and the web page link. No, alright. Somebody, alright, tell me the hyperlink one. Um or they might have to just copy and paste the question if I don't get to read it, right? Because the chat moving kind of fast, right? But don't, um, don't beat up too much. No, no need for caps. No, no, nobody needs to shout here, kids. Nobody needs to shout. Um, whether a hyperlink can be linked to another website, linked to the same page, or linked to email. Yeah, hyperlink can link to, be an, to another website, a page, or to email. Yes, that is true. Okay, what is the best way to represent a hyperlink in an HTML document? Email address, link to another page, a location on the same page. Those are the three options. All of them are correct. You could link to an email address to a page and a location on the same page. Yeah. 
If those are the three options, then one, two, one, two, and three are correct. Which of the following executes a HTML document? That's our web browser. The web browser actually takes the HTML code and, and shows it to you. Which of the following is true about sequential data? It starts from the beginning, starts from the largest to smallest, or starts from smallest to largest. Ooh, that one kind of that one kind of weird. All right, let's now pause on that sequential one. So they say which one is true about sequential, right? All and they ask and they give you three options. One, it goes what start goes starts from beginning. Was the second one? Who had the sequential question there? Eh? Matter of fact, I'm gonna see if I could copy and paste it out. Um, where it is, boy? Dread. Okay, yeah, there's it. Chelsea, I'll copy in yours, right? Alright, which of the following is true about sequential data? Oh, sequential data. Sequential data. Starts from the beginning, starts from largest to smallest, starts from smallest to largest. It doesn't necessarily have to be largest to smallest because it could be the opposite to it could be from smallest to largest because sequential it could organize in any way that you want now. But it definitely um you sure the word that they put a starts from the beginning? Starts from the beginning, something a little sketchy. That that's the that's the word they had Chelsea. Yeah, start from the beginning look like the best the best answer for it. Yeah, it starts from the first record. Oh oh it was start from the start from the first record. Yeah, well then yeah, that'll be the answer. Sequential will always start from the first record because you have to go through um all of them from from the first one down to the end. So yeah, that's correct. So start from the first record will be the answer there, I think. Starts on the right. Okay, cool. Alright, let me see our next question. What's up in um showing pictures that match? Cloud storage, what? What's the cloud storage? So um can a hyperlink link to another location on a web page? Yes it can. Data that has been processed is information to not funny here, that's, that's information. Characteristic of a cloud storage, access on remote servers, access on LANs. Oh, yeah, some my, my students in school was telling me about that. Um, it had remote servers and it had um, by the internet and whatnot. Cloud storage is not access on a LAN. A local area network doesn't necessarily mean it's cloud storage because it's local to all those computers only. So for that cloud storage question, Access on lands will be one where it is not. I think it was a not question, right? I kind of go in based on what people tell me. Can a hyperlink lead to a different location on the same page? Yes, I answered that just now. Yes, it can. Um, who's that? Aaron Ali, so you serve your purpose. Goodbye. Well, yeah <laughs> in life you meet these type of types of people so goodbye i hope you make it in life um he had mac os he meant windows os okay something so what is a conditional construct conditional construct is if then else all right um, there was one where they showed information, 64 bit, 74,000, 7200 RPM and some other stuff and asked what is the computer word size, 64 bit is the word size here. Yeah. Um, which field uniquely classifies a record, the primary key, uh, all those things we did already, at, or all those things I did in the video, some, sometime like twice. So can you please show or demonstrate that a hyperlink can open up to be 
uh, a part of a web page I can't demonstrate that right now because I had to write HTML code and I know how to jump you know at the bottom of a web page where you click jump to the top when you click there and it's jump back to the top of the web page that's, that's the same thing it's jump to the top of the page that's a hyperlink let's go back to that page um spreadsheet one where they have about cell b8 what will happen if you move c8 if you move c8 move it to c8 well the the b8 will change to c8 yeah davion walker the one with the spreadsheet um and i'm not too sure exactly what you're saying so i'm trying to make sense of it not only which of the following statements is true of accessing files sequentially it occurs in any order starts with the first one starts with the largest data starts with one it starts with the first i answered the sequential one already um to, 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 to that paper is easier than my head yeah probably Question with the cloud storage often was something about storage being managed by storage providers. Is that true? I don't know what it is. So the word one, please. Okay, tell me what the what the word question was, um, Alana. Which what about Microsoft where they didn't understand? So they said word use instead of word size. Would it mean the same thing? Word use instead of word size? Yeah, 64 bit or 32 bit. Once they, once they have specs and they ask the word size, it's 32 bit or 64 bit. About which one is the least protective in MS Word? Or how do you protect a Word document? What will provide least amount of security to a Word document? That was a question. What will provide least amount of security to a Word document? That's not making sense to me. I don't understand. Right. Put the question properly now and, and kind of give me what the choices are. What will provide least amount of security to a Word document? Uh, I, can't, I can't grasp it. That's not making sense. Johnny or Joseph, I answered that question already. Um, all right. Well, I'll try my best there. All they keep saying the word question, the word question, the word question, but nobody actually typing what the word question is. Remember, I never saw the paper. I have no idea what the paper looks like. I'm just doing this to kind of get a gauge from you what type of questions they ask and which ones give problems. What are the functions of a modem? Analog to digital, yeah. A, analog to digital is the one for the modem. Okay, I think somebody put in the word question there now. What will provide... Alright, let me see if I could make sense of this. What will provide the least amount of security? Restrict editing, virtual signature, a password, making it only compatible with the version it was made with. Um, yeah, D. That would be D. Because restrict editing will stop the, the person from being able to enter any um to make any edits to the um to the document. A virtual signature will kinda um seal it and tell it that you can't add any more to it. A password, you could put a password on your document, but making it compatible with the version that it was made with, that's definitely the least level of security because all you all you had to do is just install the Microsoft Word that is compatible and so you install like Word two thousand and 2010 or 2015 or some kind of thing like that so yeah a, a virtual signature will will lock it it's possible that a virtual signature could lock it oh that was a nice question interesting yeah the, to the person asking how much how much marks you had to get for a grade one i don't know so you could stop asking the school
Yeah, it's basically D for that word question. Um, which of the following is not system software? The options answer was narrowed down to translator utility software. Can't remember the other options. If, if you can't give me the other options, I can't help you with it. You know. A translator is system software. Utility software is system software. I don't know what the others are. Mm -hmm. What will the programs on a flash drive be stored on? The programs on a flash drive are stored on EEPROM. Or oh, no, programmable read only memory, PROM. -prom. Yeah, flash drive. A flash drive would be on PROM. Because you could. No, EEPROM. It'll be EEPROM. Because you could erase the information on the flash drive and then program and store it over. Yeah, that'll be EEPROM. That was a good one too. Trans translator utility software production tools and something else. Yeah. A translator utility software and production tools, they would all be considered system software, I guess, but I need to know what's the next answer. Internet Explorer. If it's Internet Explorer, definitely um Internet Explorer is not system software. So that'd be correct. Where you put RAM for RAM for what? For where the information on a flash drive is stored? It will be PROM or EEPROM, but more than likely it will be PROM. But you see, in the current world that we're living in, EEPROM and PROM, they're so closely linked that it's hard to, um, to differentiate them. But I would have put PROM because you could program, you basically you could overwrite the flash drive. Prom wasn't there as an option. Yeah, I could understand why prom may not be a, a option. If it was prom or eprom, one of those would be the answer. But and again, the exact context from yours, so that's the best I could do. If you put RAM, when you store things on a flash drive, you're not storing it in RAM. RAM is inside the computer. Oh, it said where does the information on a flash drive go when it is inputted into the computer? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I've seen too much, too much things jumping up there. They ask where the information on a flash drive goes when it is now inputted into a computer. When data goes into a computer from the flash drive, what is the data converted to? To load a program on a flash drive, it would have to move to RAM. To oh, that was the question. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, then RAM will be the answer. Yeah, RAM will be the answer. I thought, I thought, all you're saying the question is what type of storage is on a flash drive? Okay, so if you have to load a program on a flash drive, so load the program. Um. So you want to load the program on a flash drive or load the program from a flash drive. If it's loading from a flash drive, it will be and you it will have to go to RAM first, yeah. Because it'll go to the RAM and then the RAM will run it, run the information. Yeah. I don't understand what the question is. But if it's a repeat question, then most likely we should be okay with that. All right, cool. So I think that is all. I, that is all I see in there so far. Shouldn't really um, have any problems. Okay, cool. So that is the that's the first thing I wanted to do to kind of get a gauge of how y'all did. So more than likely, y'all did really well on the exam. I could tell because if those are the questions I was giving you trouble, I I would feel confident. Yeah. Um, if I should get the paper, no, me get any paper and not really change anything because I don't want to be the one that have that paper. Um, yeah, some of y'all asking questions I answered before. Alright, so, turn, this is what, um, 
what uh right the next thing i have to do is i need to tell you all about something that i plan to do for um for august all right so you all know scratch you all know um scratch the programming language scratch like scratch Yeah, you all know this thing, Scratch, where you could like um, create programs and things. The web, oh, answer the question, what the webmaster? Anything you question about a webmaster? Yeah, question about a webmaster, webmaster controls web page. Right, so yeah, so you all know about Scratch, right? And, um, Right, so what I'm going to do is in August, um, when exams are finished and you all finish with your um, finish with your exams, I'm going to run a a competition slash giveaway, and uh, it will be for you to create a scratch program to create something, and when you create it, you will win a prize. Holy feel about that. So it'll be a competition where you'll have a particular task and um, I'll give you a particular task to do and once you enter the competition you submit your you submit your computer your um, you submit your you give your submission and then you will you will be judged so I'll have First of all, it will be submitted and then I'll put the videos up on the channel and you have to get people to vote on it. So you'll vote on it with um, likes and comments. So a comment will be worth like two points and a like will be worth like one point. And then the top ten people will get judged by a panel of judges, which I'll have like, um, I'll have like Kerwin on the panel, I'll have some other teachers, I'll have some people from Jamaica and things. Some other people who know about, um, about programming and know a little bit about storytelling and whatnot. And you create the... Um, you create the, the story and when you create the story the winner will get it or they ease up on the, um, on the past people questions on, uh, um, I, I, I offer that we done yeah so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do four tutorial videos on Scratch right the four tutorial videos will give you the basics about how it, um, how it works then it will give you how to create a simple um a simple story then it will teach you how to add sound effects and then allow you to make like choices and whatnot right and when you create your story it'll, it'll, it'll have rules and whatnot and then you put it up and then um then you submit it right once you submit it i'll make a video from it i'll put it up and then you get people to like and comment on on facebook i mean on facebook on on youtube and instagram you get a certain amount of points and when you get the when you get the points then you will um when you get the points then you will have to make it into the top 10 once you make it into the top 10 um yeah once you make it into the top 10 you will be judged Right, so I can have like a, a, a story like this, and any story will run. And based on the story, it will change scenes, people go talk to each other, and all kind of things like that. So, that's my plan. And then after I do that, you're gonna get a prize. So, this is where I want you all to tell me the prize, but I'll put it on a poll on Instagram too. Well, what prize you'll rather win? An iPhone SE 2020 or a Galaxy A51? So tell me which prize you'd rather. The iPhone SE 2020 or a Galaxy A51. A51, I think. Sorry, not 21. A51. My bad. Galaxy A51 or a iPhone SE 2020 because I have to determine which prize which prize I'm going to um, give because I could only afford one prize right now
Now, well, the, the person who come first, the person who come first will get the phone. But then after that, I'll have some some consolation prizes, probably like um, earbuds, um, like AirPods, or um, and then you could get free lessons. So either free commsci lessons or free IT lessons, depending on what subject you're doing, you get half a year. So all this in the A fifty one. Some people saying the iPhone, some people saying the A51, the iPhone. I ain't asking you know, which one is better, you know. I ain't asking you know, which one you think is better. I ask you know, which one you think will be a better prize. Let the winner choose. Aha. Uh -huh. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. That, that could work, that could work. I didn't think about that before. Um, let the winner choose. Who's this person saying AirPods Pro? Oh, no, 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 no. It ain't that serious. It ain't that serious at all. We're now starting up. So, yeah, you, the winner could choose, yeah. And then the second place will get, like, the headphones. And then the third, the third place will get the free, le the, um, the free classes. Because my ComSci classes and my IT classes, they, um, they worth it. They worth it. You might actually get more value out of doing the ComSci classes and the IT classes than, than a phone, but yeah, we're going to see how it works. We're going to see how it works. Right? So, yeah, so only thing that, 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 that could work, I want, I want to launch it as soon as August hit, as soon as exams finish, I will launch it. And um, no, it's for the whole Caribbean. So if, if somebody from, the, from a Caribbean island win it, I will ship the phone to you. Or I'll get it to you somehow. Once the borders open, the borders had to open back first for that to happen. But I'll go work it out. Right, okay, so all you all you're gonna be done for that, some all you will actually try it. Like kinda go in scratch and make a program. It's it's not really that hard because it's just blocks. All you have to do is go inside and um Set the blocks and choose what will happen and then you could have like um like if then else and those sort of stuff and you're just basically choosing blocks and deciding what will happen next. Yeah. Yeah, well all you don't worry about the people that, that leave in like the people that, that care about it is actually people that want to stay and, and, and give me the um give me their feedback. If you leave then it's okay. If you could do it with someone else, nah it will have to be your original work. It will have to be your original work. Yeah. Alright. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna launch that competition at the end of the at the end of the month. Last thing I want you all to do is I want you all to go to my website. For those of you all that care, for those of you all that want to, want to, to go to my website, make it simple, tt.com, and go to leave a review, right? The reason I save this for the end is because I wanted to save it for the people that would actually stay. Because you know we'd have one set of hype and thing that'll be going on. And all you don't worry too much about this world and why it have dislikes and why people just leave and all that kind of stuff. That is just how the thing does go. There will be there'll be people that stick with you, there'll be people that loyal, and then there'll be people that just take what they need and move on in life. That's okay. So all you just kind of learn that from now. Don't beat up too much. Alright? So I wanted to go to my website and when life finish, right? I'm gonna put the um I'm gonna put the link here. Uh make it simple tt.com forward slash leave a review. And I wanted to go and give like a, like an honest review about what you what you've experienced in the teaching, and the link is there. So you go, put your name. Um, if you're a parent or a student, you could put a country if you want. If you don't want to put a country, it's cool. The level, most of y'all will be CSEC IT, and then type your review, and then um, that will go up on my website now because I want to create a little review section for all the um all the people that I help out. Right? So, that's basically it. So, one was to answer some of the questions. I get a kind of view of 
what all you uh, what all you needed i'll talk about this on instagram too but i wanted you all to see it second one was to let all you know in advance about the competition that going on run about scratch programming and then the third thing now is to go on the website and fill out this form and submit it and that will go on my website as reviews from students who have who i have helped and if i helped you well then cool you could go there and do that if i didn't help you it's okay you don't have to leave one you're not, gonna, you're not really gonna make that issue all right so for, for those of you that watch this video after the fact the link will be in the comments um in the sorry in the description and uh, all you could write up the nice review if you feel like it no pressure nobody needs to need, needs to have to do it but i just want to let you all know thank you very much for allowing me to um, help all you with all the it and i hope I hope to see like some of y'all doing computer science and IT in the future and go on to do your computer science and IT degrees and start to make a change in the um in the uh, a change in the Caribbean and we could start to do things IT, right? Which name i uh, rather put your put your real name and put your nickname in brackets if you want. That way we could kinda know who who is who from like if you're from Instagram or you're from YouTube. So if you want you could put um you can put your nickname, but put your real name in brackets. Something along those lines. But you just gotta, you just gotta not have a name. Alright? Right? So for those of you all who are interested in the Scratch programming competition, I will put information about that out as soon as the major exams finish. So probably the last week of July is when I will put the information out because the competition will run for August and then at the end of August we'll determine who's the winner. So, um... I want you all to I want you all to enjoy it. Right, so I'll put any link again for the um for the review. Y'all could go and do that now. Thank you very, 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 very much. There will be no Sunday night live for CSEC this Sunday. Kerwin Springer has a maths marathon going on, on Sunday. So for those of y'all that are doing maths next week, all you go want to do that. So I'm not doing any work for CSEC. I only keep students are dealing with on Sunday, right? So no Sunday night live this Sunday. But Sunday Night Live will continue the following Sunday. And remember, follow on Instagram. Um, all the cool things I was normally doing, like Tech Talk Tuesdays and Tech Talk Thursday. Or they could come in the live there. We'll talk about all the different tech news. Or they could ask questions about how things work. And next week, Sunday, when I start back Sunday Night Live for CSEC students, because Cape will be over, basically, I will decide which one I go and do first. If I go and show you the hacking or if I go and show you the... Um, configuring a router and whatnot but all those things will most likely be done through instagram polls so you had to stay you had to stay on top of the instagram the instagram link is in the um in the comments for those of you all seeing this after the fact right so i go on there um to everybody that's saying thank you sir you're welcome you're welcome you're welcome you're welcome you're welcome i wish i could reply to everybody today that said thank you but it had literally 150 something people that um that said thank you maybe close to 200 and that, that would make my stories kind of cramped and i don't like when the story is too cramped that was the only day i did it yesterday right so you're welcome everybody if you're really 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 thankful go to the link that you've seen in this description here and um send a little um write a little review so i could put it on my website to show that you know to future people now they will, they will be like wait now this man can really teach boy look at good reviews yeah so it was great or they could check money Instagram live on next week Tuesday. But now they could go and prepare for maths and EDPM and social studies and biology and whatever it is you need to do, right? So be good day. Later.